So we back with another video and today we got your boys with the shooting badges and we're gonna be going over every single shooting badge in the game for NBA 2K23 Going over everything for the tiers if you guys want me to do the same video for the play again defensive I already did the finishing um, I also want to do these videos strictly for like the takeovers for current gen next gen and the perks and all that type of stuff So you guys want all these videos make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe if you're new make sure to turn on notifications share the video to Help all that good stuff out the way. Comment down below what you guys think is the best shooting badge. What you guys think I could have placed a little higher or lower. Anything like that. All that stuff out the way. No more talking. Without further ado, let's hop into it. Alright, moving on into the shooting. First things first, we got the same tiers. Let's hop into it. Agent threes. Agent threes is easily a broken badge it does everything when it comes to um shooting for fades or any type of like i think it does spin jumpers too if i'm not i'm pretty sure it does spin jumpers too i know it doesn't do hop jumpers because that's space creator but pretty much any fading thing is gonna make it way easier but not only does it do that it does pretty much every single like off the dribble badge from last year rhythm shooter i believe I believe some parts of Rhythm Shooter is in Space Creator, if I'm not wrong, but there are some things in Rhythm Shooter that's in Agent 3's. Stop and Pop is in this, and some other badges just for like shooting off the dribble. Even if it's a standstill three, you'll get a big boost to that shot. So it'll make it a lot easier to get greens and stuff like that. So Agent 3's is a broken badge. Now, next, Amped. Now, I don't know what it is, but I feel like I've been finding myself using more of these stamina badges after last season. So, I would say Amp is definitely a usable badge. I still don't like it, to be honest with you. Because the only build I really do use it on is my small guard. On my 6-1, that's the only build I really use it on. And it does work. It does, it does what it's supposed to do to be honest but at the end of the day i did stop using it because it does change it up i feel like the badge that actually makes the biggest difference for stamina and changing your timing doesn't even have anything to do it's not even a shooting badge so i would still say amps is a don't use for me personally and there's just a lot of other badges so i can see not enough badge points i can see usable i can see top tier for people that don't have the same experience as me i would personally just say don't use Blinders, that's a top tier badge. Blinders is, you could even argue it's broken. Um, blinders is a really, really important badge when it comes to crabbing people, when it comes to just being a smaller guard, when it comes to picking and rolling, which a lot of people don't really do on this game, but it's still kind of important, or picking and roll, picking and pop, all that type of stuff. And yeah, just that simple. I think blinders is really good for just guards. It's just that simple. Catch and shoot, another badge that's very important, but it's like for the other aspect of builds that i haven't really went over which is pretty much spot ups uh catching shooters um off ball players pretty much that simple that shoot really probably the best badge in the game for y'all um actually that's cap but yeah it's up there it's up there definitely top five top three um claymore another badge for spot ups but this is really for the people that's literally just spotting up the longer you're sitting still the added bonus you have to that shot that you eventually do shoot in that position so yeah claymore is really for those corner sitters those hash sitters that don't move you know what i'm saying they just sit in that spot the whole game ready to shoot that simple cut shooter top tier probably the best badge in top tier to be honest um blinders gives it a run for his money but i think clutch shooter um for the 5v5 is one of the best badges when it comes to the free throws after in the second half when it comes to the fourth quarter and overtime gives you a big boost when it comes to playing park any point after 14 you get a boost with clutch shooter so yeah i do like clutch shooter in a lot of situations i think clutch shooter is gonna be pretty much affect any given game combat kid combat kid only thing i say about combat kid is pretty much if you're losing it's a top tier badge if you're losing a lot and you're in close games a lot but the thing is you can't just be like in a close game it has to be pretty much you have to be losing by at least seven points so you have to be literally a loser to use that badge now, it might be people out there that need that badge. So that sounds crazy. So I kind of take that back. I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of crazy. I can't lie. That's kind of crazy. But um, Comeback Kid, really only for people that's really losing. I don't know how to really else say it. I say it's usable. So if you're going in the wreck without like playing with randoms, yeah. But even then, it's going to be kind of hard to always be losing by more than seven. So I really pr prefer a badge that's always, always going to be doing something. So that's what I'm gonna be putting that stuff. Now, corner specialist, if it worked the way it's supposed to, it would be top tier. 
but it doesn't really work so i'll put it in don't use um it's been like multiple seasons at this point that i just don't really understand the point of using it it doesn't do anything i haven't really noticed any significant difference with corner specials whether i'm fading towards the corner like i used to whether i'm just spotting up in the corner whether i'm sitting under the hash anything like that i don't really see a significant difference it's pretty much the same badge as it's always done it just doesn't work so yeah from my experience dead eye dead eye is another top tier badge pretty much a badge that you can use on pretty much any build to cancel out shot contests and just be able to shoot over people and like be able to shoot on higher contests and stuff like that more consistently dead eye top tier badge green machine this is probably the best like all around badge and again you can use this on any given build and it's never gonna be a tier three it's always gonna be like a tier two to be honest and yeah this game you have to get greens to make more shots this build this badge is going as you get more greens it's gonna make it easy to get that next green that next green that next green until you miss and even when you don't get a green it's gonna make that next shot even more likely to make it even on this game where pretty much whites don't go in now, that's not that big of a deal but you want to be able to keep getting greens as easy as possible and this is one of the best badges to do so guard up guard up in my opinion is a really really decent badge um it's not crazy i wouldn't put it on the same level uh, as blinders and dead eye but it is usable i can see people using it i think for smaller guards for sure it's another great badge for like like say for instance, somebody don't have their hands up you can green pretty much in contest with guard up but the thing is it's just like if it's, if people have their hands up it really it pretty much does nothing but if they have their hands down they out of position and stuff like that guard up is gonna be really good but People that play their hands up, you playing smart people, there, you're not gonna really be have a use of that badge. Um, limitless range, limitless range is a broken badge. You can shoot from pretty much anywhere without it, and then when you put it on bronze, silver, the Hall of Fame, pretty much it's just gonna make it easier and easier to shoot from literally anywhere, even without the tape. Now, I believe gold is like logo threes consistently. Hall of Fame is pretty much anywhere consistently, um, but this is just really op the only thing i'll say that you could argue that makes it not overpowered is the take because everybody can pretty much just get the take but i still think it's a very overpowered takeover or not takeover but badge mini magician mini magician is a usual badge pretty much a build specific build badge i think from the people i've seen that like really do use mid range they really do love this badge so you could argue it is top tier it's just not a lot of people are just mid range scores because you can get dunks so easy and it's the same two points as if somebody that's really killing on the mid range so yeah just that simple and if you can do all that on the mid range you can really do all that on the three sometimes unless you're doing like post phase or all type of wild shimmy stuff like kobe type stuff like so people that's really just trying to have fun on the game and like emulate their favorite players then yeah it's a really really fun badge so yeah i think it is a usable badge for you but for the majority of people that's really just trying to win games and stuff like that and the best thing to do is really to shoot threes or get dunks then mini magician just isn't like the most ideal badge for you because you're not shooting mid range it's that simple but it is a good badge for people that like mid range Slippery off ball, slippery off ball is a usable badge. I would honestly say slippery yeah, off ball like a tier one badge. So, uh, it's like for off the ball people. So like you're gonna be using catch and shoot. I'm trying to think of the badge you would be running if you're off the ball. So I think if you're running slippery off ball, blindish becomes a good badge. I think catch and shoot becomes a good badge. I think dead eye becomes a good badge. I think clutch shooter is a good badge. I think green machine is a good badge. Limits range agent threes is a good badge because you can steal, you can fade and stuff like that. Um, guard up might even be a good badge because people are going to be running at you and sometimes it's hard to get their hand up on stuff like that. Um, corner specialist, if it worked, would be a decent badge. So you could argue it's a, not enough badge points because there's a lot of badges for people that move off the ball. But I think the best movement off the ball isn't even using slippery off ball. But if you do, like the slippery off ball, like joystick stuff. But if you do use it with like slippery off ball, like Hall of Fame, it's really good. I'm going to be honest. I can't lie. Um, so for, it's a kind of a build specific thing space creator Space creator is a top tier badge people that want to do hot backs people that like even if you're doing like the curry hot back or the Dame hot back the Kyrie hot back the LeBron hot back the whatever you want to call it that I'm pretty sure that works with space creator I'm pretty sure space creator is also for like hop jumpers as well Pretty sure it's also for like the moving step backs as well So like the Lucas and stuff like that and you shoot off stuff like that space creator also works with that so I think Space Creator definitely is a top tier badge. And like I said, it does have a part of Rhythm Shooter from last year as well. Volume Shooter, in my opinion, is a top tier badge. The more shots you take, the higher chance that next shot is to be a green. So, yeah. Any badge that helps you get greens on this game is going to be a top tier badge, my uh, honest opinion. 
But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys want more, like the video, subscribe if you're new, comment down below, help the algorithm, all that good stuff. I appreciate y'all boys showing the support, y'all been showing on this channel. Done. I, I'm really trying to grind for y'all boys. Really, really, y'all. I'm really am. But yeah, uh, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys want more, like, subscribe, all that good stuff out the way. Without further ado, man, it's your boy. And I did, man. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah!